Welcome back to Sister Brunch here at the Essence Film Festival. And this is so exciting because we're in the Creators Salon this year. And we are so fortunate to be able to just kind of grab people who are in the room. And we would have never probably been able to have this interview if it hadn't been for our friend and alumni of the podcast from last year, Ms. D'Angela Proctor. We love you. And thank you for introducing us to Ms. Jaylene Mack who is an entertainment attorney. We have not had enough of them on the podcast and is such an incredibly important role for all of us to protect ourselves and our work. So, Jalen right. Mack, welcome to Sister Brunch. Thank you for having me. This is so cozy. Isn't this nice? Isn't it beautiful? I love, I yes. love the set. I love the set. It looks nice. Anyway. So, um, tell us, first of all, what are you doing here at Essence? So I'm from New Orleans, so it was a nice treat to be able to come back to New Orleans to work on a panel. Uh, I'm going to be speaking on a panel tomorrow here at the Convention Center, uh, and it's a, a uh, entertainment law and business panel. So we'll have uh, three other lawyers, a producer and an actor, and a plethora of information for anybody needing to know about the business and the legal side of what they do in this business to sustain and be successful. Thank you and protect yourself. So exactly. I'm so glad you mentioned that because one of our segments is let's talk tech. And so I always ask directors, producers, what's a kind of what's terminology that you know, but other people maybe who are just getting started don't know those terms or should know those terms for especially for entertainment law. Yeah. Are there yeah. terms that we should know? Well, there's definitely some things that you should you should do, you know, if you're an independent filmmaker. Uh, I mean, everything from protecting your IP all right, IP. IP. Let's talk about what does property. that. All right, tell yes. us a little bit more. What could that be? Yeah. Could that be anything? Well, it's a, it's basically your ideas, right? Intellectual property. These are the uh, ways to protect trademarks, copyright, patents, things of that na nature. Service marks. So think of the the branding behind it, the the invention behind patents and things like that. You want to protect those ideas, and so one way to do that is to register with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Uh, for trademarks and patents. And then if you have copyrights, the United States Copyright Office can handle that for you. And you've also got a book, don't you? So I do. All right, tell us about that. Yes, yes. It's the business of stage, screen, and the in-between. And it's my uh, business ad advice to you uh, as filmmakers, as, as uh, actors and performers and musicians and stuff. To basically just get it right, you know, the first time Thank around. You. Yes. Because, right? Because So you don't have to learn those hard lessons. Exactly. Exactly. Like most people don't know, you know, to have a plan, right? A business plan or to protect yourself with contracts, how important insurance is, just these different things that we need as we uh, create, you know, various productions and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's a good, quick reference book on Amazon. They can All right, grab. I'm going to put you on the spot. And if you can't think of one, it's yeah. okay. But is there a hard lesson that you learned that made you be like, okay, here's something that I need to make sure other black women, other emerging talent knows? Uh, so I will say, I don't know that it was a hard lesson, but it's, it's certainly something that I, long, I learned along the way early on. Your opportunity is your opportunity. And so sometimes you have to be persistent and, and maybe a little pushy and a little clever, right, to get in a room that you know you need to be in. And, I mean, you might not have a pass. You might not be on a list. But that, that person on the other side of that door is somebody you just need to meet and be with and, and, and network with and maybe find as your mentor you know, whatever that, that drive is that gets you there. But sometimes you have to push. So all these people that say no and want to block you, you got to find a way to get, um, get past that. Because we know with this business, it's that moment. It's, it's that moment might, that might, might take be the you only time. Three years, right? might take you five years, but, it, but right. in that moment, in that take moment. advantage of that moment. Yes, yes, mm. please do that. Because I just find that sometimes, um, you know, like you, it might be a celebrity that you just want to take a picture with, but there people around them will block you, right? You know, and put the hand up, so to speak. But I, you have to make your way past them because they're just hired help. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, there's, you know, um, so anyway, but the point of that is to stay motivated, stay persistent, stay strong, uh, and don't be deterred by, you know, any type of negativity or any type of pushback. Mm, I love it. Yeah. 
We also this year are leaning into finally having kind of open conversations about finances and especially about fundraising for our films. So on the entertainment Mm -hmm. attorney side, in what ways are you involved in either helping to fundraise or protecting those who are fundraising? Right, right, right. Yeah. So as a lawyer and a producer, I am very much in the trenches when it comes to finding money, developing projects. Uh, getting a budget done, right, to even know how much you, much you need, but also finding that money, whether it's debt equity, you know, you're getting a loan, or if you have private investors, it could be family and friends, other business people. Uh, if you're dealing with tax credits, depending on the state that you are filming Oh, I'm glad in. you said that. Tax credits. You know? Yes. Uh, yes. California. We want you to film in California. Hopefully <laughs> you'll be doing that. Yes. <laughs> well, I'd rather you come to Texas. We might not be, no, you know, have uh, a tax They're going to fire me. Credit, if you, but we okay. definitely have a tax incentive. Yeah, yeah you do? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you do. We do. We do. Come on down to Texas and shoot. It's a little hot right now. Though, All right. Yeah, saying. yeah. It's too hot right now, so come back to California. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I love it. So that, I mean, I think that's a really important point that entertainment attorneys touch every aspect of, so it's not like you have to wait until a certain part of, I mean, from the beginning, right? From the beginning. Mm -hmm. From the beginning. Mm -hmm. Lawyers are involved in development, in pre-production, production, production, post-production, sales, uh, marketing, distribution. It just all kind of depends, but there's lots of contracts that go with any one of those steps, right? And, and there's lots of business decisions to be made. So lawyers, a good lawyer, right? An experienced lawyer and a lawyer that's particularly experienced in television and film production is the lawyer you need to be talking to because they, they normally have hands on all those different aspects. So I, I want to just say this. Please. You asked me this question earlier. Yes. The one thing I would say is if you need a lawyer and you're in the entertainment industry, don't go to a real estate lawyer. Don't go to your uncle who's a probate <laughs> attorney. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. There's a difference. Go to that lawyer who is experienced in the area that you need assistance in. So not just the entertainment lawyer either because that's a broad umbrella of things. Make sure it's the lawyer who's experienced with television film or music or dance or just theater or just whatever that might be. So I just want to point that out. And go to a black woman entertainment hey. attorney. I mean, why not? You why know, not? That, that way Women they really color. understand what it is that yes. you're doing. Yes, and yes, we get it. We Jaylene get it Mack, what a gift that we just grabbed you from this room. It's Thank such you. a pleasure to meet you. I hope Thank you will you. encourage your clients to film in California after they film in Texas. <laughs> The battle, the battle. But, yes, but we're so glad to know you as Sister Brunch. Come thank back you. anytime I and would enjoy do the rest of this amazing festival. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is entertainment attorney Jaylene Mack, and you're listening to The Sister Brunch. <laughs>